Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. Let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back at God Wars. I've been enjoying that PVM collection logging life as of late. Also, all that new gear I've gotten from Raids 3 and Desert Treasure 2 bosses is perfect to use for green logging a bunch of bosses. What better boss to green log than the original God Wars bosses? Of the three God Wars bosses that has yet to be fully completed, Saradumin and Bandos boss is statistically not too far off as I managed to get the pets for them on my original grinds there years ago. Sarah boss only needs the Sarah light at 1 in 256 and the Armadale crossbow and Saradumin hill both at 1 in 512. So it typically won't take too long. Also Bandos, I only need Bandos tacits at a 1 in 381 drop rate. So that is also really realistic to get as well. I figure I would go with Saradumin as I would like to tackle the log with the most slots to fill first. Little did I know this grind was going to be far from typical. Well, at least it makes for a dramatic video. Enjoy. I started doing some Sarah. The setup works really clean. Basically, same kill speed as Shadow, except with Twisted Bow is a lot cheaper. I don't have to worry about charges. It's just Amethyst Arrows for the most part and some scales on my blowpipe. I want to use the Venator Ring anyways, right? We got this baby, so this is like a perfect excuse to uh, actually use it. And it's really nice. I hit like 77s at uh, freaking Sarah with this ring. Amethyst arrows, so insane. Oh yeah, just in case if I didn't already show this, but we got 2.5k XP shards left. If that's 40 shards, right? 50, 50 shards. So that's like 50 more keys that I can use for God Wars. So yeah, that'll be good. That will be good for the Saradumin. So, all right, boys, we are using bones to peaches at the Scudo Sarah. I only have 73 peaches. No way. So we're gonna get some uh, soft clay. I have all these golden nuggets. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy a bunch. Finally, we get to use them. Um, okay, maybe I bought a little too much, but I still have a thousand. And we definitely don't need to make 2,400 freaking bones to peaches. I think I'll just make a few hundred and we should be fine. We've made 500, so we should be good. Yo, I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I, oh, Sardom is light? <laughs> Never mind. I, I didn't know that was not in my log. What the fuck? Lol, I got trolled. I thought it was, uh... <laughs> I thought it was, uh, Saradumin's hilt or something, you know? <laughs> Funny. We have four digits on all the God Wars bosses now, I guess. Kinda cool. Another Sarasaur. Okay. Well, that's, that's number three. I wonder how many Sarasaurs we'll get. By the time we uh, finish the crossbow in the hilts. If you get brew drops from Sarah, definitely drink a brew right before the vine runs out. Just so you can get your defense back and you're gonna lose your range stats anyway, so. Uh, drink it right before the vine runs out makes it so that you just gain HP and don't lose any range stats anyways. Oh my... Ah! Nice, we got third Sarah sword, I think. Oh my god, I just got fucking 6 hour logged. I think I'm good though. Oh, I'm so close! 20? Oh, actually I have enough KC. We're fine. I forgot. Because of combat achievements? Because of combat achievement rewards, the highest tier of Grandmaster, which I have, lets me enter Galwar's rooms at 15 essence or kill count instead of 40. And the different tiers also reduce the KC amount as well. 42 heal with the blowpipe. I mean, that'd be a 21 heal if I hit a 42 blowpipe spike. Another Saradumin sword? Oh, that was my max hit. Jeez, that's uh, number 7. <laughs> Yo, Gosser Shard 3? Wow, finally uh, we got our first Gosser Shard. Just nice for these extra hilts that I have from like random Galwar stuff, so. Alright, usually Sarah drops way too much supplies, but, uh, yeah, let's see here. We've done, uh, what we got here, like, 92, so 23 kills, no prayer drops. But, I guess I can casually do 23 kills without any, uh, supply drops, so, it's pretty chill. I used to do this with a rune crossbow, and in order to get, like, 20 plus, I definitely need some good supplies. Some solid RNG. What? Uh. Uh. 
shield left half oh my god dude all right we're out in this usually i collect it but no, no space how many kills have we done since coming back guys we've done 454 so we're, we're almost on rate for at least one of them i mean we should be on rate for one of them oh ghost of shard one nice we are getting our first ghost of shards today Alrighty, okay, I uh, lasted pretty much all the five ranged divine potions a little bit under two hours We did 44 kills this trip So that's kind of what I'm gonna be aiming for I guess you know uh, up to cuz Honestly once you get like up there near like the two hour mark it gets kind of boring. I need it. I need to do something else <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Well, I need to charge up all my stuff apparently so we're gonna put 10k on the magma, I also just put 10k on my blowpipe as well. Wait, what? That's still only 63%? Man, screw this. I'm going all the way. Alright, we're starting to go down a bit, but it'll be a while before I, I still have to visit Zora. Another Sarah Sword? Holy shit, from Minion this time? Oh man, that's like a 1 in 3000 or something. Some Something ridiculous. Damn, boys, we've done over 500 kills since coming back. Haven't got any of the 1 in 500s. No Armadillo crossbow. No Sarah hilts yet. Now that we kind of know what kind of kills per trip we do with an Ecu key, let's just say 40, because sometimes I, I leave a little early. I make mistakes or something. But yeah, uh, using the range methods with 2,000 Ecu shards left, that would be 40 keys. And each key is around 40 kills. So that should translate to over 1600 Ceratomen kills. Well, I definitely should have both the hilt and the crossbow by then. Because I've already done like 400 plus, And we'll have like 2000 kills. Uh, with the amount of EQ shards here. Minimum. Probably over that. Because like, I usually stay a bit longer than 40. So I better get these two done by the time I run EQ shards. And then I'll have some for uh, Bandos or something. Not that it matters for Bandos, because KC is pretty easy. Dragon Medhelm! No way! I don't think I've ever gotten a Dragon Medhelm from Sarah Boss. <laughs> what the hell? Nice. Man, this trip's gotten a decent amount of snake grass. And <laughs> one of the good things about Sarah is that I basically profit on prayer potions. I don't have to use my snake grass seats. To stock on snape grass for a bit so uh, if i go dryer i guess i'll just have tons of snape grass and some extra ranars less farming another sarasaur from the minion oh my god no way that's actually extremely lucky at sarasaurs oh god so shard okay all right we finished the trip Let's see, 1A416, so 46 kills. This is the basic loot here. Not bad, I guess. I mean, I oh, have 500k, so <laughs> not the best until we get something decent. But yo, the snake grass, man. Oh, man. This is so nice. Not having to farm. Oh, shit. Yo, we hit a 1500 Sarah KC, so we've done 651 kills. Goddamn, that's so many kills already. Let's go. Elite Clues Crow. Yes. I can actually make the Master Clues. Well, we just did a 50 kill trip with five Divine Potions. Range Potions. Definitely could stay longer if I use regular, but again, like 50 kills. <laughs> I'm taking a break. These tough RNG grinds like hunting the Sarah Hilt has taught me one thing. And that is to take breaks and play other games that are instantly satisfying and fun like War Thunder. War Thunder is a unique game that lets players battle in various combat scenarios with vehicles like tanks, planes, ships, and even helicopters. There's thousands of vehicles to choose from such as armored cars from the 1920s all the way to fighter jets of today. The meticulous details of the vehicles, realistic sound effects, and graphics gives you a satisfactory sense of what it's like to handle one of these powerful machines in battle. Each vehicle is carefully created so that each major component, like the engines, the fuel tanks, weapons, and so on, can be affected to various degrees during battle. 
The game also offers x-ray views so you can see exactly where the damage is being taken, so you can learn and adapt. War Thunder also offers three different modes so that players can experience battle scenarios that best suits them. I love the arcade mode because it is fast paced and the game physics and mechanics are simpler so a newbie pilot like me can still contribute to battle and have a great time. War Thunder is free to play and available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Now it is a great time to check out War Thunder using my link in the description. New and returning players that have not played for 6 months will get limited time, bonus pack containing multiple premium vehicles, exclusive vehicle decorator, Eagle Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and 7 days of premium account. Join 70 million other players and experience the unique and epic throw of combat vehicle battles in War Thunder. There we go. I remember how to do this now. It's been a bit, been a few months because of leagues and all that stuff. So I'm back. We're back in form. Oh, I got it! Oh, real crossbow! Oh my god, let's go! Ah, screw my flakes. Let's go. Jeez, man, how many Sarah Domain kills did we do? Yeah, we did like 800 kills so far since coming back, so yeah. Finally, we got one of the 1 in 4 500s. Let's go. Look at this, boys. We just need the Saradom and Hilt back. No way I got a Dragon Met Helm right now. Oh my days. A Dragon Met Helm. Alright, thanks for the money. Okay, this is going to be quite a cool thing I could do with this crossbow here. So, I do have an extra Nihil Horn and the shards. So, I might as well just make the Zarya crossbow with it. There you go. Now I have uh, two. Huh. Yeah, nice. Honestly, I think I'm going to use pegs instead at Sarah because, like, this boss gives way too much prayer most of the time. And believe it or not, like, it actually is splashy. Uh, Tebow on the boss, so. We need the extra accuracy, honestly. So now we're going to be packing an extra 12 accuracy. So it would be 215 instead of like 200. All right, I haven't seen anything good in a while, but we're at 1700 KC. Got a rune sword on the ground here. <laughs> Nothing too important, but yeah, there's not much to see. That's there, unfortunately. Holy shit, that was the fastest I, I want to say I've ever done it. <laughs> 19 seconds. Damn, that felt like killing Sarah and Leaks. Been a while since I've gone to drop again, uh, but yeah, another Sarah sword. Just out these, honestly, so I can have inventory space. Another Sarah sword. Come on. Alright, so I changed where I summon my thrall just because, um, yeah, if I spawn it here, right before it spawns, it's actually better because it hits everything here early and then, yeah, it'll take a while to be on this area, so it'll get as many hits as possible, basically. So I'll show you right now. Of course, this is for my rotation, my own personal method, so it's going to be a little different, you know, for everybody, but as you can see, you know, it just hits everything. Well, it hits the boss pretty pretty much as soon as possible, so. Alright, guys, we're almost at a thousand Saradomin kills since coming back, and uh, I'm out of tabs, basically, for Bones to Peaches, so time to make some more. Alright, guys, we made a thousand more Bones to Peaches, so hopefully this will be enough to get the hilt from Sarah, and I can also use it for, like, Vandals and stuff, because, yeah, it's going to be good for pretty much all of the Gallwars grinding. Check my scales on this blowpipe. Oh my god, I only have 200 scales. Yeah, let's pop that up for some Ceradomain. Oh, this is so interesting. Dude, I got two Gossard Shard 3s in the same spawn. What? Well, same wave. <laughs> well, guys, I've done over a thousand kills since coming back. Post log update. And uh, apparently I've made like 80 mil, and that's pretty much all because of the uh, armor across, but that was 60 mil. Um, 5 mil pure coins, probably a few more mil in Alps, 9 Sarah Swords. 
God dang. I should take a screenshot. I wonder how many more kills after this it's going to take. Oh, yeah. We got three rune source. Uh, D spear. Shield left half as well. Oof. Let's find out, boys. How many more kills after this? 1,000. So normally I would tell you because honestly with a minute and 30 seconds on the potion, uh, I would basically already uh, be out of time on this potion. But because I have so much KC by the end of the trip, I can actually just go right back in like this and just send, uh, yeah, like probably two extra kills. Just kill the boss and uh, literally just leave right before my range pot timer comes out can't do a hop trick unfortunately on the iron man because if you hop you get kicked out there you go and then i can just leave uh, yeah i'll just leave there's really nothing here and then i just go back in and do it again <laughs> yep that's it one more kill we can go for another kill guys Very good. oh wow i totally forgot that i only use 15 kc per entry because i have grandmaster combat achievements that's insane so if I, by the end of my Sarah trip, it's like 150 plus KC, I can actually go for 10 kills in a row. So I need to definitely start doing that. Main thing that makes this really, really slow is the fact that the wait times are incredibly long. All right. All right, so we go out because I have gone a bunch of KC now, so I can literally just do this and... uh Restart the fight. Yep. It's pretty nice. We're getting like 29 kills an hour, which is definitely quite a few more kills an hour. Alright, so I'll just leave and do it again. Alright, and then we just go right back in. Yep. Yep, it's pretty nice, man, when you can do it like this with the extra KC. Obviously, how many kills extra you can get. It's going to depend a lot on your combat achievements. Alright, I'm definitely liking this new additional strat here because I'm getting almost 29 to 30 kills an hour, which is at least 2 to 3 more kills per hour than I normally get. I usually get around like 47 kills or something with 5 range divines, but I actually got 53. It's great. It's like 3 extra kills an hour or something. I get asked a lot what the staff I bring to Sarah is. It's called the Staff of Light. You can make it by adding the Staff of the Dead from Zemi Boss with the Sarah Domain's Light to form it. So it counts as both a Zami and Sarah item. So I use it mainly because I need Guards Protection, right? And it counts for both, so it's perfect. Also, if you wear it and use the Altar at the right God, you'll get an extra prayer point because it's a, the right God item. And when I do my in and out strategy to use the KC to reset the spawn, I want to put that on so that way I don't get attacked by the minions. God so Shard, uh, dude, I just want this hilt now, boys. We are three times dry for this hilt, man. Dang, I thought this was going to be like a eh, sub 1000 uh, nice trip, but yeah, this is not a sub 1000. <laughs> We're going to 2000 now. Oh, come on. Okay, at this point, I could literally just uh, attack the boss and not even bother blowpiping the minions. Especially if I don't have to juggle anything, so I can just do it like this. Uh, basically, that just means I can do max damage right off the bat at Sarah. And uh, yeah, it's definitely significantly faster. Like, definitely a few seconds faster per kill. And it will add up because uh, apparently I'm just going to be here forever or so but yeah this is one way to do it uh the only downside is obviously the minion portion is more annoying but i pretty much have plenty of time though to kill the minions so it's fine but yeah that's just how it goes this this is like probably the fastest way that i can come up with to kill sarah yo i'm using so many EQ keys just to freaking do sarah only man i thought i was gonna like have plenty left by the end of this collection log grind for god wars but yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to run out of this and then I'm going to have to do a, yeah, a little bit of casing here and there. It's not too bad because I only have to do 15 to get in, but yeah, wow. Oh my god, no! 
Oh my goodness, I'm just so behind on like every drop here. Minus uh, the good old pet. Oh, I just need a hilt. Same drop rate, by the way. That's one way to off take the melee guy if, if he's attacking like at the same time as one of them. But obviously, easier said than done. Right? I, I've just been here so long that uh, yeah, I can just do it. I will. I killed so much Sarah and uh, Amethyst starts looking low. Gotta make some more. Didn't think I have to, but here we are. Let's make like, I don't know, 5,000 something. We'll see. Let's go with that. Oh, still got 5.6k though. Nice. Thankfully, I AFK all the way to 99 mining with it. <laughs> so, we're chilling. I don't think I'll run out anytime soon. It's been years. Alright, there we go. That should be enough to get this goddamn Sarah Hill 5000 in the blowpipe. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, I got a Sarah Demon's light, bro. Come on. Oh, no way! Shield left half, come on. How's it going, guys? Rice cup in the flesh. And if you have made it this far in the video, I'm going to assume that 73% of you guys are veteran viewers that just love watching the content and want more. And the rest of you guys probably fell asleep. And thank you for letting the video play. Anyways, I got something for you veteran viewers that you guys might like to be a part of. And that is membership on YouTube. So what is it? If you subscribe as a member for $5 a month reoccurring, and then you get some cool emotes that you can use and a cool sub batch that will be displayed whenever you type a comment in one of my videos people will know that you are a supporter of supporters beyond just watching the videos and the big one uh, perk wise is the ability to watch my videos several days earlier than the usual folks and the reason why is because when i finish making a video i put it up on the youtube but i can't just release it right away right because i have to tidy up the video i gotta thumbnail it nice or make a really nice title and swirl some marketing things related to the video. If you guys want to just watch the content earlier, then you can as a member. If you want to financially support the channel so that way I can focus more on making more videos and better quality, you got that as well through the membership funding the rice fields a bit more. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Link in the description to become a member. Looking forward to it. Maybe we can do more pros in the future as I develop the system more but i hope it's a good one a fair one after being at sarah for so long i have been experimenting with finding like the perfect starting position and like the route in which i go around this room so that i don't get too bored and as a result i've been rewarded with a really really good attack route it's probably not perfect but for me it it's everything that i need it starts really nice it's very consistent and it also lets me minimize my run energy intake and it's also perfect for letting me go in and out because the starting route for when I enter works the same with this route and you'll see later on that it works really well with magic as well uh, even more important for, with magic so you'll see what I mean about magic stuff very soon holy now that was nice but yeah that's typically how I want to do that but yeah it's so freaking nice Okay, I like I like this rotation the most just because it tends to offset all the minions pretty easily. Like it's not always guaranteed because sometimes the spawns are delayed, but but even so, it, it usually works out uh, pretty well. And then we're gonna go out because I have KC to do this again. So yep, just eat up a little bit and uh, go right back in. And again, same exact deal. Same exact, uh, basically, rotation, so, yeah. It works very well, very easy to do. So, that was almost two hours of Sarah, and uh, I was averaging 31 kills an hour, so 30.8 to be exact. But yeah, that's it. Can't really get much faster than that, at least with range. You guys want to hear something insane? When I was going for 99 fletching, I used most of the amethyst I got from 99 mining to train to 99 fletching, and... That resulted in 136,000 Amethyst Arrows. I remember making a whole prize video dedicated to that. And I ended up using it with the Twisted Bow that Venture got. And guess what? I have pretty much used 
almost all 136,000 amethyst arrows. I only have 3,000 left. I haven't made any additional arrows since I got 99 fletching until today. I'm actually uh, bulking back up, but yeah, I don't have enough to get back to what I used to have, but I can't believe it. I've used over 130,000 amethyst arrows in, uh, I guess, uh, six years. I guess a lot of it recently went down because of uh, Venerable when I was AFK jellies and stuff for clue scrolls. So I stocked up on amethyst arrows and darts. I'm 20k arrows now. Definitely though, after this grind, I realized if I can just do about the same uh, kills per hour at a boss with like a shadow or a scythe, I'm going to use that instead of the T-Bow to be honest, because I'd really I'd rather spend some GP to make runes than, you know, have to actually run out of these freaking amethyst uh, ore. Because yeah, we don't have that much left compared to, you know, back in the day, so... Oh my god, no! <laughs> Fucking hell, dude! Why? No. <laughs> I have four, because one of them is not in the log, so I have four. No! <laughs> the rune sword! Hey, look, I got a meme about the rune sword, alright? Alright, everybody does it, so it's just customary to moan about it, alright? Rune sword, why? Oh no, I've been doing so much Sarah that I forgot to check my shit. Well, I'll leave when I'm I'm actually out though. Oh damn. Okay, Tebow hits it's pretty good on uh, on the unicorn and in the major at least. So I maybe maybe I don't have to leave. You know, maybe I don't have to leave. Because apparently the Tebow kinda slaps right now. Alright, well this trip's over. I'm out of uh range doses and we didn't get it and we're at 2500 kc now dude just keep getting sarah's lights bro so many i guess they're not that rare but shit dang i didn't think we could actually push this method even further but yeah bro, i'm marking over 31 kills an hour 31.6 but yeah i've been just gaming this trip though all uh, right yeah i don't have any prayer so if i don't get it i have to leave Basically, no matter what. Oh, wow. Three magic trees. Three magic tree seeds. In four. Four in one trip. That's insane. I usually get nothing. I usually get zero. All right. Damn it. Another day. I did 200 kills. 200 plus kills today. And uh, we still don't have this silt. Tomorrow will be 3,000 KC. So can I just please get this on like 3,000 KC? Right? Please. I'm slightly begging. Slightly. It is time to change our strategy for Saradomen because of a few factors. The first one is that you see my EQ key shards, they're pretty much gone. I only have five keys left. So that means I have to start getting kill count to do Sarah, and I don't want to do that. So magic is going to be the new strat because magic lets me stay the whole day without leaving. And also, I normally wouldn't do magic because the soul runes was a little too annoying to get but the scar came out and it's something i will talk more about in a future video but this update lets me get these runes a lot faster uh, with much less effort so i can actually burn through my shadow charges no problem so yeah we're gonna go with magic now with range i'm kind of limited on my range potions i can't bring that many or else i don't have space but with magic i just bring in saturate heart and i can stay there for hours and hours and hours so i don't have to kc and stuff Oh, it's 25. Oh my god. Unfortunate news. The combat achievements for Desert Treasure 2 and Scurrious Boss came out today. And that means I'm no longer Grandmaster. I'm currently at enough points for Master. Which lets me enter God Wars room at 25 kill count instead of 15. So that means my kills per hour is going to go down by like maybe one or two kills. Probably an hour. Because I have to enter with a much higher KC. And I don't want to have to do combat achievements right now just to go back to do Sarah. I want to just get Sarah done right now. So, honestly, man, this clogging stuff, man, can get pretty intense. I, I will say, because first and only hill was 400 KC, I want to say. So it's been 2,600 kills since the last one. So. Yep, officially five times dry. Woohoo! We've been here for at least almost six hours. Yeah, 
I've done like a hundred and like 60 kills. So it's somewhere between five to six hours and yeah, I could keep going really. But uh, yeah, I used the like three stamina for this for my first real trip. But yeah, we got to go. I, I need to take a break. I've saved with the lucky penny 156 charges and the lucky penny saves 5%, right? And I've definitely shot enough cast to really just extrapolate that so that means i've used about 3120 shots of the shadow today in about six hours 500 shadow shots an hour this trip has lasted so long that i i literally have two million elks am i seeing a lore of the shards yeah i guess you're 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 correct i i literally have a full a full blade bro in my inventory yes I, I don't think I've ever done that before, uh, but I've been here for over six hours. Three, three, three. That's a cool KC, though. I got nothing. When it comes to using magic at Ceradomin, you really want to learn how to triple stack the minions. What I mean by that is how to barrage all three at the same time. So I managed to find the perfect way to start up the Sarah fight, and then by the end of it, Almost every time it's going to be set up in a way where you can get all three together super easily using these two tiles that I marked on the ground, as you can see. But yeah, it's freaking amazing. It's the same exact route that I did with my range. So if you watch my range route earlier, it's the same exact thing. And I'll show you how to like fix it if the ranger and stuff uh, attacks you at the wrong spot later. One thing you do have to remember is that you want to make sure that you're targeting the unicorn because the unicorn is what connects the two other minions together. So you want to make sure you barrage that and then it'll hit all three. This might break my Briofida dry streak because I think it was six and a half times to get the essence. And right now we're at six times drive of the hilt. So we are getting there, man. I hope not. I hope not. I just hope to get it. You're going to see an aerial image of where the tile markers are, so you can just copy it pretty easily and just do what I do. But the star is pretty straightforward. You just have to stand where I am, and then you attack the boss, and then after that, you just run straight to the southeastern corner, and you just copy exactly what I do from the tiles that I go to. And it's just going to come down to practice. Just make sure you reach all the way to the northeast corner at some point, because that will drag the growler to the right spot so that you can actually do the triple stack. Most likely you're going to get there no matter what, but sometimes you can just kill it so fast with mage. But yeah, just keep that in mind. Keep in mind when you're dragging the unicorn in between the growler and the ranger, you want to make sure that you start off from a good distance. So that way, when you guide the unicorn towards the other two, it's going to be facing east to west or west to east. As long as it's like a straight line, then it'll work. If not, it's going to face the other direction. It's not going to connect the two. There you go. And then we do this, and voila, here it is, the triple stack. Oh man, I've been so like zoned into this trip that I totally forgot. Uh, we're at over 3,500 KC. That's pretty sick. That's like a milestone or something. We can get the perfect triple. Oh my god, an armadillo crossbow! Well, that's a bonus clip too. I mean, bonus in this clip. What the f- Mm, I'm still behind Armadillo Crossbows, by the way. Uh, let's see. We've gone, uh, we've gone five Armadillo Crossbows total, right? Four post log in uh, 3,533. But I need to quickly pick it up, though. Because that shit is worth a lot of money. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. I don't know, bro. I'm catching up on the Armadillo crossbows, though, but... Oh, I just need this hilt, brother. Just give me the hilt. I don't even mind ending this, like, not even, you know, on rate for crossbows, man. Just give me the hilt. But if you want to see how long, uh, how many kills I did that trip, I did 142. And uh, we left by choice, you know. But this is our best trip ever. You definitely profit if you get the drop eventually. I wonder how much magic experience I've gained doing sarah so far with magic well, i am over 100 mil magic now so that's something okay what happened to this ranger bro how the hell did... 
Okay, I've never seen a ranger just stay at this corner like that. That that is that is an absolute first right here. All right, hopefully I fixed it though. Yeah, I think I fixed it. We're good. Holy. Okay, I can still fix it though when when it's like over there or something for some reason. Oh no. Okay, I think we're back to average rate for crossbows. But I still am behind by over six hilts. Well, that's crazy, man. I don't even know how. Like, it's not like I'm getting lucky with the crossbows or anything. Oh, no way. Another bad spawn. All right, I think I'll do this little trick right now and uh, bring this back closer. Okay, okay, I fixed it. Oh, okay, so I can actually fix it. Let's, what do you call it? Oh, I saw Sarah. Sarah sword, no, stop. I don't need to see another Sarah item that isn't the hilt, okay? Another day of 200 kills, seven hours. Nice, nice. All right, I'm just gonna use this shadow. I mean, uh, the, the vampire. Yeah, we're, we're about to be seven times dry, unfortunately. Oh my god! 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 Yo! I'm out, boys! Get me out of here, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit, yo. Oh, we got it. Oh my god. Oh, it's done. Right early, too. First hour of the day. Oh my god. We're done. Holy shit. Wow, like. Yeah, 3,400. Oh my god, just shy of seven times dry. Like, six and a half. Okay. Yeah, I really wanted to do Bandos next, too. Like this. Because this one is just Tacits, man. Way easier than Sarah, right? Sarah was like three items. And also like 3,000 extra kills. But this next one could be really easy. But knock on wood. I'm not, I'm not going to jinx it. But holy shit, we're done. Well, here we go. Might as well make the uh, placeholder Sarah Godsword. Nice. It's always nice to have placeholders. So this is... Uh, a placeholder that is well earned. Feels good, man. Let's talk about all the loot that I've gone from Commando Zeliana and the minions. So in total, I tracked 2,895. And for the hill specifically, this is not accurate because I got my first hill in like 400 kills, and I have like 3,800 KC. So there's actually like three to 400 kills that's not tracked on here. 2,900 kills though is most of it. Anyways, we got six Armadale crossbows in 2,100, and that is very normal, so that's cool to see. But the hilts, we only got that one, so we're definitely uh, losing probably like 100 mil in terms of what you would see on average. But we did get 14 million coins, almost 400 Ranar seeds, lots of uh, rune items and Sarasaurus, 29 just from the boss alone. And I got a few from the minions, which you'll see in a bit, because I'm gonna show you guys the minion stuff. Lots of magic seeds, and as for other stuff, we got some Godsword shards, a lot of twos and threes, I think, but a lot of dragon items from the red drop table. But overall, we made 448 mil from that. For those of you guys who are interested, definitely unlucky as hell. Now let's talk about the minions because the minions actually drop some good stuff too. I only have Bree and Starlight tracked. Unfortunately, Growler, I couldn't find it. We got about 1.8 mil each, close to 6 mil from the minions. Ranars too is nice. We got about probably 500 Ranars total. Not a lot for, you know, killing the minions that many times. But we did get a bunch from the Cerebots itself. But really nice. Less farming for me. And we got probably around 2,000 Snapegrass. Which is really nice. Because that's going to cover for prayer potions for way beyond. We got some Cerasaurs too. Again, they're like 1 in 5,000 each. And we got some Godsword Shards as well. So that's nice. As always, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Do not forget to take a break and check out the Epic Combat Vehicle game for free. Also, use my link to get that amazing limited time perks if you're a new player or have not played in 6 months. Like those premium vehicles, 100,000 silver lines, and 7 day premium accounts.